Since the beginning of the pandemic, health officials have been concerned about the trickle down health effects of COVID. According to the CDC, breast cancer screenings dropped by 87% in April of 2020. A year and a half later, and the numbers show that some people are still skipping cancer screenings. WRTV's Nikki Dementri explains why early detection is so important. Katie Anderson has a passion for helping others. Being able to help them find a solution to fix the problem or being a part of finding the solution. As a sonographer at Northwest Radiology, she plays a vital role in detecting life changing events. But 13 years on this side of the table didn't prepare her for the day she was the patient. Knowing what I know, I knew that if I felt something or um, anything like that, you just have to get it checked. And I did. The diagnosis came earlier this year, invasive ductal carcinoma stage two. The 37 year old mom and wife underwent a bilateral mastectomy, lymph node removal, eight rounds of chemo and 28 rounds of radiation. Anderson just came back to work last week. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm tired. My body's a little bit sore. Um, but other than that, it's good. Happy to be back. Yes, absolutely. Screening exams detect small cancers and small cancers are easier to treat. Dr. Alan Angle stresses the importance of early detection. He adds the number of mammograms on his schedule increased since a drastic drop during the start of the pandemic, but his office is still 16% behind pre-COVID numbers. Researchers estimate that there could be 10,000 additional unexpected deaths from breast cancer and colon cancer secondary to the lost, canceled, and ignored screening exams. Anderson's message to others, get checked because it may save your life. Just do it. <laughs> it's not fun, but it's more fun to get a mammo than it is to go through everything. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. It's recommended that women start scheduling yearly mammograms at age 40 and those with a family history of breast cancer are asked to pinpoint the age at which a first degree relative was first diagnosed and start mammograms 10 years before that.